Um, do we have any comment uh, adjustments to the agenda, Annie? Yes, the HEA has rescinded their request, so uh, they're not looking for an MOA. We will be discussing very briefly the lockers, which um, actually I don't, well, you folks can decide if it requires a vote. I don't think that it does, but I'm still wanting to just bring it to your attention and the public's okay. attention. Okay, and I don't think we have any public comment. There's no one here from the public. Um, yes. So uh, our as part of our long-term capital plan, and I would say even before we brought the, the colliers in, um, we had looked at freshening up the lockers at Hopkins. So we know that Hopkins is an old building that we've taken really good care of. So we're looking for any way that we can to freshen up that environment, spruce it up for students and for staff. And um, so painting the lockers is one of the things that we want to do. Locker painting is very specialized. It's a special kind of paint. Chris can speak to that. And finding people who do it has been extremely challenging. But um, Chris is in the process of looking for, since it's construction, it's considered construction, even though it's just painting the lockers, he's in the process of looking for vendors or has found vendors on the state bid list. Uh, so we're, we, we did get a quote from, uh, someone who, who I do not believe is on the state bid list. And that's where we got that estimated cost. But um, if we if we end up using someone who's not on the state bid list, we do have to go through formal bidding process because it's considered construction. It's not because of the amount of money, it's because of what it is. Um, and also we added to that uh, Hadley Elementary School. Granted, those lockers are not nearly as old, but that school now is what? 20 something years old, uh, I don't know, almost 30 years old maybe now. And so those lockers, when Chris and I do walkthroughs of the buildings, both of us were so aggravated because we thought that the tops of the lockers were just never dusted and dirty. And what it is, is that they're so old, it has the appearance that there's like a film on top of the lockers mm -hmm. and what happens there. So um, the reason I said, and certainly can ask Chris any questions about the details of locker painting, the reason that um, I said that I, I don't believe that it requires, uh, that I don't believe that it requires, let me make Alex co-host here. Um, my co-host, yes. The reason that I said that I don't believe that this requires a vote is because you have already, you had already proved in FY23 um, the use of school choice funds um, and we have not, uh, we have not used all of those school choice funds. Um, I mean, we certainly can uh, take a vote uh, to approve locker painting with the use of school choice funds. I'll let you folks ask questions and discuss, but I just wanted to, um, A, we already had a meeting scheduled originally to talk about the ATA request, which was rescinded. Um, but I also just wanted, because it isn't, it isn't inexpensive. It's a special kind of paint. It's going to be over around $50,000, we think, or slightly over. Um, but I certainly think it's well worth it to freshen up those buildings. Chris, is it electrostatic paint? That's the... Yes, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had a I had an experience having a uh, file cabinet repainted back in my one of my very first jobs, and that is a thing. Um, highly specialized, I imagine, I, and I'm glad you found a vendor at all um, who's still doing that. It's not easy, actually. We had one vendor, and we had him pretty much lined up to do it this summer, and then he got cancer, and and oh. said he's done he's not doing it anymore wow. um and so then we found another one that can do it but all of a sudden it came to our attention that this is a construction project and not just a painting um and so we, there's a whole different set of rules to follow there um yeah. so now we're we're reaching out to vendors on the state bid list because that will just get us moving along much quicker and and we'll be able to do it this summer great well i that's an important thing because of the um, the the fumes generated from that. That it's done during the summer when there are now a building full of children. Um, so, what do you need from us to move forward? You you mentioned already having. Uh, yeah, I think Chris, can you weigh in on that after our discussion yesterday? I mean, given the fact that school committee had approved in the budget the use of school choice funds, 
for yes. our budget. I don't know that a vote is needed, but I certainly do feel more comfortable with you folks saying, especially because some people, as you just pointed out, Humera, think painting, how can painting cost this much money? It's because of the type of painting that it is. And if anyone's been inside the buildings, Jeff Mish and the custodians work really hard to clean those lockers every day. Chris and I have tried to wipe the top of them. So has Jen Taud. They really could use some sprucing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I basically, oh, I'm sorry, go yeah. ahead. No, no, I, I was going to say, no, I totally understand that we would need to go this route. And uh, for painting the lockers of two buildings, uh, 50 plus thousand, 52,000 does not seem unreasonable um, w for, for this kind of painting. So anyway, Chris, you were mm -hmm. about to say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is not the kind of project that really requires a vote or anything. Um, and we did in the budget, we had about $900,000 to be spent of school choice money. We're not going to spend anywhere near that. So, um, you know, we, we could have gone through, but really we just feel more comfortable making sure that you guys are kept in the loop um, and, and are okay with us using that money for that. You know, we don't want to just go and, yeah. and spend it without your knowledge of it. So that's really yeah. why we're here presenting it. And we also had another meeting. We are, we had something else on the agenda that absolutely required a vote. So we just decided to keep it to keep the meeting. Uh, well, I, uh, can you remind me, Annie, what was the vote that previously authorized the spending of uh, school choice funding for this without a vote? So not for this particular project. It's that you vote, you voted, as Chris said, to use up to $900,000 of school choice funds to um, for operating expenses in our budget. And, um, and again, I go back to the most, the, the example of when we budget, we have no idea what grants will be available and what grants we will get. And getting those grants then drives down what we thought we would have to spend. And so we can reallocate that money, sorry, we can reallocate that money um, to a, a capital cost like this. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in support of it. Um, Christine? Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I, I know the, I know what the, the lockers look like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and the abuse they take. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm in support of it as well. Um, I like the idea of staying informed, though, just in case um, anybody from the community has questions. We know what's going yeah. on. So thank you, Annie. Um, and I think it sounds pretty wise to do the elementary school at the same time when you find somebody, since it's so challenging to find somebody mm -hmm. in 20 years. I think the sixth grade is having their, not the sixth grade, the, the class that were sixth graders when the school was built um, is having their 20 year reunion this year. So 20 year high school reunion, right? It's longer than 20, 20 years. High school it? reunion. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they, yeah, 20 year high school reunion. Yeah. And they were sixth graders when this, they were the first sixth grade class. So that makes it. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. 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 I think it was built in the early nineties. Mm -hmm. I should know. I walk yeah. by that placard every day, but I don't remember. Um, so yeah, that makes sense to do the elementary school at the same time since it's so hard. Great. Well, that's it for us. Thank you for giving us nine minutes of your precious time this morning. We appreciate it. And certainly you can reach out to us if you have any questions about the project. And we'll update you again. Humera, um, I'll be sending out a, we're, we're still, Chris has been in close communication with Eversource. We don't have a report in hand. We'd like to get, know when we're going to have that report in hand. And then we will look to, although we initially said we were going to try not to meet in July, um, because we'd like to dedicate the, the retreat to uh, topics a little more, let's say, uh, engaging um, than perhaps the, the capital checklist. We'll look to convene a meeting in July just as an update on where we are with the HVAC upgrades and our capital plan, but that should be very focused and very brief also. And I'll be sending out some options and see how, how it works for people. Right. What do we think will be the ETA on that report, Chris, from Eversource? Chris, did you get that? I'm sorry. Yes. Um, so they sent somebody out. Oh, my God. It, it had to have been two or three months ago. Right. To do um, yesterday, right? 
What's yeah 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 um to do a, a follow up inspection of the building. They just had I guess some areas that they weren't quite clear on. Um, they had asked for all of the bills and stuff for heating, uh, electricity, oil, everything. Um, they have all of that. I reached out um, about three weeks ago and asked just for an update on the project. And the person at Eversource said they received the draft report from the company that did the inspections. They were going through it. They were going to have questions to go back to that company. And then we would move on from there and, you know, we'd be able to see the report. Um, I did reach out again yesterday just to say, you know, how is everything going with it? And can you please give me a timeline? Because... You know, I mean, so far, we have no timeline. You know, things are taking much longer than they tell me, oh, we should have it in a couple of weeks. And that, you know, I, I think a couple of weeks is two weeks. If I'm if I'm being generous, I'll give you three. But it turns into like six to eight, you know. So um, I'm hoping we'll just get some kind of timeline that they adhere to. And, so. and yesterday you asked for the timeline, but we just haven't received that yet. Right. I yeah. hear you correctly. Okay. Yeah. And maybe it, um, in addition to asking if they're not uh, forthcoming with it, maybe we could suggest a timeline. Um, sometimes that helps too. Like, hey, can you get it to us by our meeting in the third week in July? <laughs> so they right. know the forcing function. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, well, thank you all. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Thanks so much. You too. Thanks. Oh, do you have to uh, you have to vote to adjourn? Oh. Sorry, we should probably do that. Instead <laughs> of just signing off, I'm just gonna end this. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. Seconded.